Okay, when we want to use a graph to evaluate the limit, what we want to do is find the y value that the graph is approaching as we're approaching a certain x value. In this case, we're approaching x as approaching 0, but we need to do it from the left as well as from the right. So as we're approaching 0 from the left, you can see that we're getting closer and closer to the y value of negative 1. As we're approaching 0 from the right, you can see that we're getting closer and closer to the y value of y equals 1. So now since negative 1 does not equal positive 1, the limit does not exist at x equals 0.